Glad to see you still with us, genius. Oh, wow, oh, wow. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Got worried I might have run you a little too ragged there. Well, considering that you've been through a club full of criminals, a shootout, you you look pretty good for someone who keeps being put in danger. How are you feeling? Well, that's better than nothing. Me? I guess I'm alright. Thanks for asking. Oh, it's been a few hours since you went lights out. I give or take almost a day's worth of time. It's almost midnight right now. Hey, 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 I let you sleep because you needed it, genius. The aforementioned instances of danger were a lot. I imagine that you needed some rest before you decided to go throwing yourself into shit again. I understand that. However, a counterpoint. It's my job to look for your brother. You can sleep and I can do the tough work and find out what I can. As much as you don't like it, that is the truth. Yeah. Speaking of finding things out, I know where your brother is. And it took some work, but before the police got on to Kevin, we had a little chat. And I got to do some poking through his stuff. Found out a bit of shit about what he was up to before, and a little more. Listen. If I tell you this, you gotta let me handle some things from here. By myself. As in, I'll be roughing it by myself for a bit. I mean it. Cards on the table and everything. No, I need you to promise me that this is where we stop working together. Because what happened with Dion is gonna look like a cakewalk compared to that, and you... No, that is not what I was gonna say. You forget that I can literally see magic. And last I checked, you don't have anything to say you're a mind reader. Can you let me finish what I was gonna say? I was gonna say that you need to be safe. You have never been a burden to me. Why would you even think that? I took you to the devil's tongue. I made that decision. And what happened with Dion is a whole other story that was nowhere even near your fault. Wow. Did you really think that if I thought I couldn't protect you, that I wouldn't make the decisions I do? I'm reckless, not stupid. Wow, okay, smartass. <laughs> My inability to use a computer is because I'm blind and those shits make no sense to me otherwise. I am aware of these accessibility settings that you speak of, but hot tip, they're not really as accessible as they say they are. I give them 4 out of 10 stars. What? You gonna build me a magically accessible computer? That was a joke, genius. Well, that's sweet of you. Thanks. I, I'd like that when you get around to figuring something out like that. I happen to think quite highly of you. If you think you can do it, then I believe you can. You're welcome. 
All right, uh, back to the other conversation. I need you to promise me that this is where we stop working together. And you trust me to handle this for you the old-fashioned way. I know you want to find him, but I want you to be safe. And I won't continue this little adventure if you're gonna be in harm's way all the time. Promise me. Thank you. <laughs> According to Kevin, he was a part of something bigger than just himself. He wouldn't say what, but he did say that Conley was being held somewhere in Washington, where they are conducting tests on magical folks. I don't know. He wouldn't confess. I don't put it past anyone to do shit like that. You obviously don't know your little magic detector is the first of its kind. Yeah, your doohickey is the only one that's ever been built to my knowledge. Yep, that's mostly because of the ban on the scientific study of magic, so no one else who knows about it can really do anything, but you're the first to break the mold in my book. No, I'll let you have your moment. That was cute, but you want to hear the last bit of what I have to tell you before you get too lost in all that? Right. Even though I don't know the exact location, what I do know is that your brother is safe and sound. And you're gonna go find him. I know what I said. I said that this is where we stop working together. I never said we were done. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I thought it would have been funnier before all of this. You're gonna go with Joseph. I can't leave the city because of my job as a magical representative, which is why this is where we stop working together. For now. Hopefully. I know better than to tell your stubborn ass no, trust me. I'm sure you would have found some way to go off and find your brother if I did say that you're stopping now. I at least would rather give you some help instead of leaving you to go fend for yourself. Oh, no. This is nowhere near the level of involvement I usually get as a PI. But, I like you, and this is one of the most exciting jobs I've gotten in a while. Ah, uh, are you serious? Genius, I, I don't want your money settled down. Besides, I don't think the money in your wallet would cover my fee. If I wanted to call you broke, I'd call you broke. I'm saying that my services are more expensive than a couple of bills in a wallet. I'm in a lot of demand, I'll have you know. People in New York who hire guys like me usually can pay for it. And they pay good money to make sure their little jobs are done right. Can't tell you. Client confidentiality. There's a lot of things I'd show and tell you. The business of my other clients is not one of those things. What other things? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Buy a guy some dinner first and you can find out. I can't help it. I like to flirt when I can. Doesn't help, you look as hot as you do. You say that like I'm already on your good side. And how do I get all the way there then? <laughs> you doing okay there? I'm only this close and it feels like your face might be getting a little heated there. That's so. It's nothing. 
I just think that if I get a little closer, then <laughs> Seems like you've been waiting for that for a bit now. <laughs> if you want me to shut up so badly, then I believe you have the means for it. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Genius. <laughs> Genius, I hate to break it to you, but Joseph's pretty much known about our little back and forths for a while now. You're not gonna be ruining any long standing relationships if that was what you were hoping for. <laughs> hey, I never know. You might have a thing for being a bit of a heartbreaker. <laughs> Maybe this turns you on. Pretty bossy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> 